guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a highly, highly requested video ever since Vlogmas of last year. So that's ever since December. And that is going to be a what's in my bag video. This is my bag right here. And a lot of you guys will recognize this bag because in my Vlogmas of last, okay, why am I repeating myself so much? Like I just said, in my last Vlogmas, Richie actually surprised me with this bag because I am not the type of person to spend so much on a bag but it has been a bag that I have been lusting over for so so long and again I would never purchase it for myself it was way too much money I feel like I would be selfish spending that much money on myself so it was just something that I always dreamed of but I never really thought I was going to have and he basically just drug me into the Louis Vuitton store I did get this um, at the Louis Vuitton store Door inside of Saks Ave for those of you that are wondering and he basically just he knew the exact one that I wanted because I was always talking about it I always had it on favorites on our computer and he knew exactly what it was he knew the style he knew the size he told the woman and in and out of the store in like legitimately five minutes and I was so happy I felt after he surprised me with his back I felt like he just proposed to me all over again and I have it all on film um, from last year's vlogmas so if I can find that exact video, I will post it down below. But anyway, let's get into it. A lot of you guys have been asking for what's in my bag video ever since that video came out. So this is my bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Never Full and I believe it's called the Damier print. I'm not sure. To be honest with you guys, I used to call it the checkerboard print because that's what it looks like to me. And this is in the medium size, which I think is absolutely perfect. Ever since I got this bag, I have not switched to another bag. I love it so much. And a lot of you guys have been asking for a review on a bag. Here's the thing guys, I know how to review foundations, I know how to review makeup, I know how to review makeup products and hair products. I don't know how to review a bag. I'm not sure exactly what you guys want to hear about it. Um, if you can give me some pointers down below what you want to hear about this bag, let me know so I can try and do a review for you guys, but I can let you know that it is the best bag I've ever invested in. It is extremely sturdy, um, there's no scratches on it or anything, and I put a lot of stuff in this bag. It is super, super heavy. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want to know about the bag, and I will try to do a review for you guys. So I'm going to unclip the little snap that's right there. Um, this bag does not have a zipper, which is the only thing that I don't like and it's also kind of like a big hole it doesn't have a lot of organization in it it really just has one big pocket and then that little zipper right in the back but that's okay because I don't know it's it's just okay okay <laughs> I feel like everything has its place in this bag and I just reach for it um, my stuff doesn't ever get that jumbled so I don't really find that a big problem so the first thing and the probably the most heaviest thing that I have in my bag is my favorite book the book that I am reading right now there's a glare on it because my ring light but this is by Joel Osteen and it's called every day of Friday I talk about Joel Osteen a lot on my channel um, he's really someone that has just impacted my life and He's just an amazing, inspirational person. And I love this book, Every Day of Friday. It actually has a little chapter that I read every single day. It takes me about two minutes every morning. Each chapter is about three pages, and it just helps me to set my day off right. I love this book so much. This is the one for large, large print for people, I guess, that don't have good vision. This is the only one that my library had. Um, since I read his books so often and I go through them one, two, three, I get a lot of them from the library because it's free that way. So that is the first thing that I carry in my bag with me. Then I normally have my phone in there and I have this case um, that's actually like a dollar case from Romney.com. It does not give a lot of protection, but I think it's cute. I like the lime green color. And yeah, that's my phone. It's the iPhone 5S and there's not really much to say about that. I know a lot of you guys have also been requesting a what's in my phone video. If you guys wanna see that, I don't really think that it's that interesting, but I could definitely do that for you guys. So next thing that I have in here is actually this little random Victoria's Secret box. And this is actually a gift card holder. I have this in here because my bridal shower just passed and I was using this to carry all of my gift cards in it. So my friend gave me a Victoria's Secret gift card that came in this and then any of the other gift cards that I got, I just kind of piled in here. So the Victoria's Secret gift card is long gone. I spent that like the very next day. I do have a Visa gift card left and then an Ikea gift card, which I cannot wait to spend. And then I just have some cash and receipts in there. 
So I just keep this separate because if I put this with my regular money, I'm going to end up spending it on bills or necessary things. So I like to keep it separate because this was to treat myself with. So that's why this is in there. And then next I have my two glasses cases. Now one is actual glasses and the other ones are sunglasses. And these are from glassesshop.com. And they are completely filthy right now. I have no idea what is on them. But I have my contacts in right now, but I will try and show you guys even though it will make me blind. That's me with my glasses on. You probably will never really see me with glasses when I go out. Um, and it's not because I don't like the way that I look with glasses on, it's because I feel like my peripheral, if that's how you say it, my side vision, I can't see. Like when I drive with glasses on, I don't like, I feel like I have to turn my whole head, like I can't just look to the side with my eyes. I don't know if you guys think that I'm completely weird because of that, but I just, I don't feel as comfortable in glasses as I do in contacts. So I don't really wear them outside of the house. This is just really my emergency pair just in case. And then I have my sunglasses in here. And these I actually, I just used a uh, glassesshop.com case, but I actually got this from a random fair that we had around my house last summer. And I did invest in a pair of Ray-Bans. Let me tell you guys, those Ray-Bans were like five times more, well more than five times. These were five dollars, that's all I'm gonna say, and I love them more than my Ray-Bans. I gave my Ray-Bans to Richie because I feel like they're so big, and I'm not really into that anymore. In high school, the bigger the better with sunglasses. Sunglasses, guys, sunglasses. Anyway, now I like smaller frames. If you guys know the Ray-Bans that have the smaller frames, the aviators, please let me know because I do want to get a pair. But for now, I'm loving these $5 glasses from the, not the flea market, the little festival around my house. This is what they look like on. Um, I'm an aviator type of girl. I love aviators. They always remind me of JLo, so love these. Next I have an umbrella by Nautica that I just always carry because it's a little and compact. I have a body splash by Bath & Body Works. This is in the white citrus scent, love it. Then I have my keys right here, which is nothing really all that interesting. It's I, This is what I'm holding it by, which looks so weird. I do have a pocket knife. Um, I'm from New York, guys, and you have to protect yourself because it's, it's New York, that's all I'm gonna say. I've never had to use it, but I just feel comfortable because there are a lot of times where I'm walking by myself at night and I just feel like, I don't know, I just wanna protect myself. I also have a pepper spray, which I've never had to use and God willing, I will never have to use. And then onto the happy part of my keys. I have my little Hello Kitty key from my house. I have this little owl key, this is to my parents' house. Um, and then just some random keys, car keys. Um, I have Richie's little um, badge thingy on there. I, have, I drive a Dodge Charger, so I just have a little charger emblem thing. And that's pretty much it. Keys are on the boring side. Then I have my wallet here. I love this wallet. I actually just picked this up from Payhaf, and it was like $5. I love the coral color. I'm not really gonna get into my wallet because there's nothing all that interesting in there. I just have... Um, credit cards and my business card and random cards and no cash really. And I have a little picture of me and Richie there, but probably too far away for you guys to see that. But yes, this is my little clutch slash wallet. A lot of times during the summer, I will just take this with me. I like this one because it actually has um, a little pocket right here so I can just put my phone in there. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, I do have a little lip gloss in here. I have the NYX Butter Gloss in apple strudel which is absolutely amazing i love this gloss and then i have a stila long wear liquid lipstick in bellissima and then i have a little pocket mirror because every girl needs one of those in her bag then i have my planner right here i cannot live without this it is so messy right now i am not going to embarrass myself by opening this opening this up and showing it to you guys because it's all over the place right now then randomly, I have what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I just have this in my bag because I just picked it up from Sephora not that long ago. It's the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick. I have it on my lips now, and this is in the shade Melted Peony, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure if I love it yet. Um, I do love long wearing lipsticks. I don't know if this is really that long wearing. It's not as long wearing as some of the stains that I have, but the color is really gorgeous. Um, I'm sure that I will be telling you guys more about this on my channel pretty soon. Then I have my makeup bag, which I'm gonna see if I 
don't talk too much if I have enough time to show you guys what's in here for this video. Um, so we'll put that to the side for now. So that's everything that is in that big hole part of my bag. Now I'm gonna show you guys what is in this little zipper, which is pretty much boring stuff. And I just thought that I had a thong in here, guys, but now I remember what this is. I haven't gone through my bag in a long time. And I saw this crumpled up, I'm like, do I have a thong in, in my bag, really? It's not a thong, it's actually these um, little slip-on socks that I like to wear because my feet are extra sensitive and a lot of times I will get blisters. So I just like to carry these along in case I'm getting blisters and I need something to prevent that friction. I also have this Band-Aid friction block stick, which is kind of like a little deodorant and you just rub it along your feet and it provides a barrier so you don't get blisters or any type of friction on your feet. And this is the Dr. Scholl's tape. As you guys can see, because I go out all the time and my shoes always hurt me, so I like to be prepared because there have been many times where I make Richie buy me a random pair of shoes or carry me back to the car because my my feet always kill me from heels and blisters and rubbing and all of that. So this is Dr. Scholl's tape. Again, it just prevents blisters. And then this is pretty boring, this pocket. I have a nail file and I have um, my headphones. I don't carry my good headphones in here because I use my good ones to um, edit. So I just throw the ones that came with the iPhone in there. I have my iPhone charger in here. And then I have a really cute pen. This is a Rila Kuma pen. I think that's how you pronounce it. I also have an iPhone charger. This is one of those portable chargers that you charge this up and then you plug your phone into it so I never run out of juice because my phone is always like on the verge of being dead. And then the last two things that I have in here are gum, Orbit gum and sweet mint. It is delicious, it is my most favorite flavor ever. And then I have my steam cream. I got this in some random beauty sampling box, I really don't know, but it's just a hand cream that comes in this really weird container. And I just find it convenient because my hands are always dry. You could also use this on your face, on your lips. So yeah, that's the only things that I have in the pocket. Oops. If I would have dropped that cream on my purse right now, you guys would have seen Mami Chula cry, I swear. I do not like to get anything on this bag. I'm kind of like overprotective when it comes to this bag, but it's my baby. It's probably the most expensive thing that I have in all of my, my fashion, my style, my makeup, my everything collection is this bag. It's my baby, so I'm a little bit anal with it. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys what is in my makeup bag, and I actually just came out with a video on what's in my travel makeup bag when I know that I'm spending the night away from home, the stuff that I like to carry with me. But my thinking behind this bag is this is the makeup, because I don't really touch up my makeup throughout the day, to be honest with you guys. I feel like I put my makeup on, if I get a little bit shiny throughout the day, maybe I'll just touch up with a little bit of powder, but I don't really touch up anything else. So I carry this bag of makeup along if I'm unexpectedly staying at someone's house. Um, I started doing this when I first was dating Richie, because a lot of times I would spend the night over there not really planning to. Don't have a dirty mind, guys, it's not like that. But a lot of times now I will spend the night over at my parents' house or at a friend's house and I always feel like I need a little bit of makeup just so I can do a five or 10 minute face in the morning when I wake up. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I pack in here. So of course I have to carry my contacts, some drops, Visine for contacts, and some, what is this called? The contact disinfected fluid thingy-majiggy. I carry two powders in here. One is a bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer. I really love it. I feel like it just warms up my entire face. And then my setting powder is the Makeup Forever HD Press Powder. Again, this is the one that I will use if I'm getting a little bit shiny throughout the day or to set my foundation. So I carry that and the two brushes that I carry are this one by Sigma. This is the F50. It's just a big stippling brush. And then the Hourglass number no. two brush. I use this to apply foundation, powder, concealer, just about anything. It's a great brush. Then I have this comb right here because I am constantly one of those girls that's combing my hair. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't like there to be any knots in my hair, so I brush my hair entirely way too much. And then I have the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. I carry a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is just a random one. It actually has no name on it, but it's just to apply a light wash of color on my lids. I use this Lancome mascara. It's actually completely worn off because that's how long it's been in my bag. I think this is De Definisil's in the waterproof version. I have an eyelash curler. I have Jordana Fabuliner. 
a NYX HD concealer and the lipstick I am wearing right now which is the Wet n Wild 903C which looks so gross right now but it's a, a nice really peachy coral type of color. I have it on my lips now like I said and then this is a diamond dazzle stick. I love this. This is actually, I don't know why it's in my makeup bag but it's a cleaner for diamonds and I'm telling you girls if you have any type of diamond jewelry nothing makes my jewelry shine as much as this stick. It's by Connoisseurs and I believe I picked this up at Target for like three or four dollars and I love it. I wash my ring a little bit too much like maybe once a week which you're not really supposed to wash it that much but I just feel like when I use this that it really sparkles so I love this stuff and oh everything's gonna fall that's almost everything but I think pretty much almost everything left in here are lip products I do have a clear um, lash and brow clear mascara by elf to set my lashes or not set my lashes set my brows Another nail file in there. A NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee Gorgeous Shade. I have one of my staple lipsticks, which is Ferris Nude by L'Oreal. I have entirely way too much lip products in here. Just Peachy Neutrogena Color Stick. This is one of the most gorgeous colors I've ever put on my lips. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Coral Ambition. This is what it looks like right here. It is so, so pretty. It's kind of like a neon sheer coral and it gives my lips this gorgeous wash of color. So I put that pretty much on top of everything and everything else in here are these sticks right here. So let's see what you are. I have a NYX retractable lip liner in nude. I also have another one in pinky beige. That was my phone vibrating. And then I have a third one in Pretty in Pink. I love lip liners, as you guys can see. A lot of times I will wear lip liner instead of lipstick, and I love the ones by NYX. Then I have a NYX, another NYX lip liner pencil. This one is not automatic, though. This one is in Plum, just in case I want to wear a dark lip. And then an eyeliner. This is L'Oreal Infallible in Black Brown. And that is all of the makeup that I carry around. And I promise you guys, I don't touch up my makeup like that. This is just in case I'm staying somewhere unexpectedly. That is everything that is in my bag, everything that I carry around on a daily basis probably sums up the reason why I have so much back and shoulder pain, but a girl can never be too prepared. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to request anything down below that you would like to see next. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.